Stephen, the DPOA's stance against the report and its contents puts the union at odds with Detroit Police Chief James Craig. It was Craig who created this committee in an effort to promote transparency within the department. The creation of a document by a former committee co-chair not based on fact, yet implies racist practices within the Detroit Police Department is not only reckless, but obviously and deliberately an attempt to deteriorate the great relationship our police officers and our police department have worked to harbor with our citizenry. DPOA President Mark Diaz went on to call the report a betrayal. The Committee on Race and Equality released the document last week, but Chief Craig, too, disputed the findings. The chief was not available today, but this is what he said about the report and issue on Thursday. Like any place in America, there are those who have implicit bias. Uh, to say that it's growing, what does that mean? Uh, one of the criticisms I have of the report, it is not an investigative report where we have detailed statements from individuals interviewed. If the allegations are, are factual, are fact-based, this association is going to deal with that and deal with it swiftly. We don't have complaints to that nature, nor do we have anything factually stating or proving that, the, in fact, we had, that we had racist practices within our department. But should we? Should that come to be the case? We will deal with it. Diaz says the DPOA wants to see the committee dissolved, and if they get pushed back from Chief Craig on this, They'll go the grievance route in order to protect their rights. Now, for his part, Chief Craig says he plans to address this issue and the response from the DPOA tomorrow. For now, we are live in downtown Detroit. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Thank you, Dave.